What's up guys, thanks for watching this video. Today we have some mini heroes. So today we're gonna just start off with Evo. So there's nothing really to talk about. It's just like a miniature version of the brain attack Evo. I just like made a mini weapon. Um, if you ask me, it doesn't look too big. It may look a little big to those of you watching, but not to me. In the back I just have a five size armor piece. And just, you know, your average um, armor for the arms. As for the legs, I tried to make it as real as possible without making it look too big. So I just went with the good old three size armor piece. It just worked out just fine. So that's pretty much it for Evo. Let's move on. All right. Here is Surge, and he is based off the brain attack version. I did give him some extender joints just to give him a bit extra height because he is one of the taller heroes. So I decided to do that. On the back, no, he does not have his jetpack. I did not do anything for his jetpack that it's practically in, um, impossible to do that. And over here, I gave him a smaller version of his weapon. And no, it does not spin. It's just a small little thing. And I did not put the uh, little drone thing over here. And for his legs, I used three sized pieces. Probably could have pulled off four, but I, I used the blue. And over here... I did use silver just to work out with his uh, core locking clam chest plate area. All right. Specials. All right. So now we have bulk. So for bulk, I just like made him. I like kept him the same pretty much. I kept his drill on the back. It's just like Evo with the five size piece. Has the um, three size crayons orange. Piece chance, um, it's like a reddish orange. Just another one here. He has the orange chance still. I probably shouldn't have made them silver, but I want to keep it more with the original set. As for the legs, it's just based off the original with the silver feet and the gun metal towards the bottom. All right, so now we're gonna move on to Breeze. All right, so here's Breeze, and Breeze is basically just the brain attack version again, like just small scaled. For the weapon, I just took. Basically, pieces and put them together. I did use these just to make it look a bit more complete. For the back, it's just the same thing as Surge. It's the, basically, the entire body is the same thing as Surge. And the feet also. Uh, she does not use extended joints as Surge, though. Alright, so that is it for Breeze. Alright, guys, this is Raka. So for Raka, I just, you know, I put a three size gold pieces on the arms and three sized gun metal on the legs and to keep it with the original design he does have the silver arms and silver feet as for the sword i think it's kind of small but i took a the back piece like the little handle piece on the original one and then put a light green spike because i thought it looked better than the dark green just worked better with the visor so for the back i just have the the five size gun metal piece. I think it really just works out great with him. So, yeah. Now we move on to Stormer. All right, now we have Stormer. And to be honest, I think this is the best one I made. And this is just for me. I made Bulk, Evo, and Raka, and Stormer. And I think this is like the best one I make. Like this is really good. So for the sword, I took a 3.0 claw um, piece for like the blades and put it on there with the original weapon. And then on the back, I managed to put this there. I'll show you how I did that, maybe. And this comes down too, so I did a really good job with that. As for the side, I took a transparent blue piece and the icicle little armor piece to keep the original color scheme going with the arms. And as for the legs, it's just a... Uh, Generic design with the five sized white piece and the white foot. Now, if you want to know how I did this on the back here, the way I did this was on. Hang on. So I'll just take this out. So if you notice, I do have I have a blue light silver piece sticking out of the back here in a like little Exoforce hand pinhole thing. So that's going through all the way to the front to um a socket, which if you don't see it, it's um. You know, there's a little socket right there, and that's where the blue hole sticks out. So now we're going to move on to our last and final one, the Ferno XL one. Here is Ferno XL. 
and I must say, it looks a lot like the original Brain Attack from Alex. Now, I did put these here because in the original one, he has these, like, spikish things for his uh, first area of his arm. So I kind of wanted to have that there. And I also wanted, I, I just, so I put these here because the spikes would have been a bit too much for it. So I decided to put these here. And I think it does make it look like it captures the little feeling of that being there. And I did put the uh, transparent uh, orange three size piece there. And for his weapon, I just was very creative. I did basically design it off. I, I forgot to put a little handle thing over there. And, yeah, it just l works out very nice. I, I really like this weapon. Uh, if you like it, uh, just comment below. And that is it. If you guys enjoyed this, please uh, check out our other mocks if you did enjoy them. these mocks. And if you enjoy, just overall enjoyed uh, our uh, video, subscribe to us for more videos and for reviews. Until next time, this is HF Masters saying goodbye. But wait, there's more. Alright, here is Mini Next from Breakouts. And yes, I am including the miniature cuffs. Yes, it is happening. You are seeing it. Miniature cuffs. So, basically what I did was I just took the next design and just made it better. I did include this antenna. I did change the laser. He does have a, a black hand because in the set, this is where his gun would go. And in the set, it had a black hand. So that's how we know it's a black hand. And... I did not attach any little place to put his cuffs, mainly because it wouldn't be able to work out too well. But that is really it for Mini Necks. And now, you probably saw this coming. Mini Stringer from the breakout. So as you can tell, we have the Mini Cuffs again. And once again, we don't have somewhere to put them. And once again, that's because really, I just want to work out with a Mini guy. No, like, the only place reasonable to put him would be the back. So, as for the weapon, it's the same weapon he had in Breakout, like, the exact same thing. It, it's actually not too big, and that's the main reason why I used it. So, tell me what you think of that. Tell me if you think it's too big. To me, I didn't think it was too big, but it might be to you. As for the back, I have the... What's it called now? The dark blue transparent pieces, just like in the Breakout version, he had the chest piece in dark blue. Well, same here. And for the arms, got the sonic boom pieces, I guess. The blue arm. Yeah. So thank you guys for watching once again. Um, definitely like a plot twist with these guys. Like, you can't forget these guys. I know they've been like neglected lately. Um, we're really hoping though know, that the set names aren't true. Or there's like, like you know how in Breakout Wave 2 there was like Speed Demon that came out. And we're hoping Skinner will come out of nowhere. Or at least next, you know, one of them. So thank you guys for watching. Until next time, see you guys later. Goodbye.